so I was looking for a deal. Mantha was paired with, uh, I think it was Raquel. I forget now. I did a fine trade and they came up with Shore and Raquel. I believe it was Raquel. I am not 100% sure. Um, huh, pun intended. So Shore would be our third liner is the only problem. I tried replacing it with a first and a third for Mantha here, who would certainly go on to be a great first liner. So, and his contract expires, but we'll have room to sign him. So... I'm gonna try it. No. Oh, do Edmonton. So I'm still gonna try to hunt down a deal. Dad enough on the older side, one year left on the contract, so maybe Huberdo kind of out of reach. Hoffman wouldn't be too bad. One year deal. I'm kinda curious uh what Hoffman would require Silverberg. Manson Henry. Henrique is an iffy one. He's 29 and signed for the next five years, so he'd be 34. Don't think he'll be getting much better. I think we can find a better second line center. Um... I'd like to find something else though, but that is something to keep in mind. Oh, we just looked at Florida, sorry. Left wingers, Kemp. Right wingers, Kovalchuk. Minnesota, Zuccarello. Oh, contracts. Contracts not that great. Parise Fiala. That's a doable trade. That's doable. Let's edit this one and remember that ghoul guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, so he could be top four, but if we look at our defenseman by a, yeah, we'll do that. By age, we have plenty that are going to be. Uh, yeah, ghoul would become a top four. Larson could become a top four. So I think I'm okay parting with him, to be honest. So yeah, I think I'm fine parting with him. Because we got two right there. Uh, they're playing in the NHL, too. So... My Ura, I mean, he'd kind of be the call, but we can sign or find someone cheap to be that, uh, another defenseman after we traded, uh, we traded Camp Fowler in the last video. Because if we go by overall, one, two, three, four, five, so he would be the sixth. Oh no, but cool. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay, we're okay for starters if we trade him. So I'm not opposed to that. Um, those are both our third rounders from this year. So I would like to see if we can bump one of those to next year. Okay, they will accept that. Let's see if we can nab a pick in return. They'll accept that. Um, actually, let's just... Yeah, no. Alright, so let's get that fourth... And let's try for the third next year. Let's go the third alone next year. So the fourth works. And I'm wondering if we can get a seventh. Yeah. So there you have it. We have Fiala. And I think we're ready to start the sim. Um based on that. So let me see what the coach says. Fiala on the second. I would like that to be the case right there. I mean, obviously this all needs some improving, but I think that's a start. I think he'll go on to become a good first line left winger. Not a superstar, but It'll be solid for us. And what's your contract again? Yeah, that's a good contract. So even if he winds up becoming a second liner, um, we'll put Case over there because he's technically a right winger. Um, so then a, a second line of Henrique Fiala and uh, Case. I feel like you pronounce that differently, but I don't know. I'm just calling him Case. Um, actually, where is he from? check so I feel like that's pronounced differently but sorry um and then D what do you got for me Lynn Holmans and those out of single Wyman yeah so it's probably not gonna be a great season um but we're definitely let's edit the trade block really quick before we uh start simming it all uh we're not looking to trade any picks Looking to trade Getzlov. Looking to trade... Um... I really don't think anyone else. Um, can we order this by year? Go with that fourth. Next year, second from Colorado, so both the Colorado's picks. Um, wants. We want to edit this. Any currently. But we're going to want that, right? Um, yeah, top nine. That's fine. Um,. We want, that's probably top six, right? Yep. Um, okay, and we'll put this as well. So we're looking for top six, top nine. I mean, that encompasses it, but I don't know, put it twice. Um, wants. We do want that first if people will offer it, especially for Getzlav. Um, and future first. I'm not too interested anymore in fourth plus. And 
And we can put our- oh, okay, cool, it already has our surplus. Um, let's put our forwards who are younger. So we'll listen to offers on that. And I think that's good. I don't really want to trade any more defensemen. Um, cool. So that works out fine. And so let's begin simming through the preseason, maybe a chunk of the regular season, and then we'll see where things are, view owner goals. So he wants profit. I want us to win the regular season home opener. Concessions need an upgrade. We need more parking. So we're going to pour all our funding <laughs> into the stadium. Uh, steel, no, thank you. Allocate the budget. So yeah, we want arena operations all the way up. Don't care about promotions. Advertising doesn't need too much. Scout travel, kind of important. Cool. I think that's good. It's not all the way up, but I think we need we need some in advertising. Scout's fine. I think the travel to have them. Mm, can bump it down a little bit. Okay. That should be good. I'm happy with that. I didn't even look at the coaching staff. I wonder what we got for... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two first rounders? <clears throat> Medium top six, 20. Richie. Takes away from our depth. Connolly's an 80 overall. Not a great contract. So, I'm curious if we took one of these guys out and one of the first out. If they do. I really don't want Connolly. Because of that contract. So, what if we did this? Richie's closer to being there, but he's 23, so he won't prove too much more. Um, that also affects our NHL lineup ring. I, well, I think I'm actually going to go with Richie here. We'll take this year's. We'll see if we can squeeze something else out of you. The extra salary? It's 1.5 million. Okay, so what if we go with what's his face? That's why they wanted to get rid of Rick Connolly, but I don't want that contract. Try their third. You don't want the extra salary? Okay, okay. So let's go back to that original deal. Or actually, because I only want to trade one of them, let's look for Brett Connolly. And if you take a bunch of this salary, then I'm willing. Let's see what you'll do with 50. And a pick. Let's try it. Let's 
They want to keep less. What would make this cap hit? I mean, that's 50%, right? So it would make it so... What if we... Have it there? Come on, you gotta take on some of this for me. Take on at least one mil. I know you want dumb salary, but like, come on, man. I mean, would that count towards clearing salary? And they wouldn't just go one for one because of the salary. Okay, well, what if I took on some of his salary? Like, that's nothing. Ay, 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 dude, it's freaking. It's freaking 82,000. Uh, 82,000. 820,000. And you look at the cam space you have. I mean, we do have the cam space for. Him, we can always try to dump him, buy him out. We have all the cap space we need, especially if we get rid of Gets Love. So, let's go for it. Can you take a little bit? Yeah, six from the Sabres. They don't want to retain any salary. <clears throat> okay. You need to sweeten the deal a bit. So if we go for... Fifth rounder. Alright. Cool. I'm cool with that. Auto assigned. Can we edit the lines, please? Oh, the coach probably already handled it. I just want to see what he did. Oh yeah, he's editing them every night, so we're not going to really see truly what he's done with it. Uh, we'll send through the preseason, though. I like how they do that realistically, like they suddenly are just like, hey, these prospects, let's play them. That didn't used to be the case, that I don't think. They didn't, you know, shift them around. I think I'm okay. I think I'd like to hold on to what we have. Unless you're giving us a good player, uh, I'm good. Yeah, no. Like a good winger. Nah, I'm good. Toronto's first pick won't be that bad. Uh, valuable foot. Lundestrom, now I'm okay. Yeah, salary cap on. Okay, 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 okay. L wow. Glad we hold on to Richie. I mean, it's preseason, and, you know, he's not playing up against the best players, of course, but six games, 11 points. Connolly, five games, eight points. Okay. Connolly's shooting percentage is 40%. <laughs> Took five shots, scored on two of them. I mean, I guess that's not live, but too, too impressive. Here, you got six goals on 21 shots, which is a good ratio. 
I mean, 2-5 is a good ratio, but it's not enough to really tell you. Like, we don't know the scenario in which he scored those goals, you know. So, um, so yeah, that's the preseason. We're going to sim up to the regular season. I think I'm going to stop it there and just look at what we got for lines. 4-2-1 and one in the preseason. Not too shabby. Phone vibrating. Um, so for scouting assignments, they kind of let them do their thing at first, find like whatever prospects they want, and then around, oh, like after a couple months, I'll go in and edit it and have them scout like the top um, central scouting rated players. Um, is usually what I do. Um, because it gives it, like, at least a couple months for the central scouting to actually become, like, somewhat accurate. Uh, so we're gonna be okay on that for now. Um, and now, let's take a look at those lines. What is our coach set up for us? I would like it to be this. But it's gonna, he's constantly going to uh, change it back, and I'm not going to um, continuously go in and try it. Um, but hey, we'll see. You're 23 or 23. And you're a left winger. I don't know why he would just want... I mean, what? No, oh, sorry. What happens... Oh, the overall goes... No, 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 no. No, it stays the same. I mean, I guess he doesn't fit on that line as well as he would here. Is it Fiala who would? He fits better there. So I guess Fiala doesn't really fit that great there. So you know what? Let's leave it. Let's just let him do his thing. Manson, Lindholm, Delzato, Gil Wyman. Goalies, obviously. Still that. Oh, what do you got on special teams? You got three centers here? Why don't you have, like, any of your good... Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I mean, it's just going to wind up changing this. Yeah, let's give Larson some time. Why not? I mean, do what you're going to do for 4-4. Four four. Do what you're going to do for penalty kill. Do what you're going to do for that. Yeah. Um, extras. Extra attackers. Like it. 4-on-4. Four 4-on-4. Four. Four on 3-on-3. Four. Three Extra attacker, as we already saw. Shootout. Who's scratched? Kessler. Oh my god, we have Kessler still. Oh my god, I just realized that. Yeah, we gotta do something about that. Might just buy him out from the get-go, honestly. Jesus. Anyway, we'll take care of that in the next video, because, wow. Completely forgot he was still there. Oh, Steel isn't even playing. Kind of a bummer, but we'll figure that out. Um, one last thing, I'm just going to look at the coaching staff. Because I have yet to check that out. Um, His last name is Goalie? That's funny. Okay. Um... <clears throat> so these two are pretty good from there it kind of goes down I'd like to get a better uh, initial goalie coach but we'll take care of that HL is okay D minus ain't great but I'm okay with them being in the C's um, NHL assistant coach don't need to worry about that right now uh, probably want to look at a better goalie coach he's got two years left 
All right, well, we'll figure out that next time. Um, I guess let me know if there's any moves you want to see me make. Um, and we'll probably just roll with the sim for a little bit before making any moves. But yeah, let me know, and I will see you next time.